When we were designing the X1, we anticipated spending a lot of time in the tent. And since we're in the Pacific Northwest, we figured it'd be rainy for a good amount of that time. So that really informed some of the fabric choices and the design decisions that we made. Specifically, the fabric we used is a nine ounce polyester that's impregnated with acrylic that comes from the marine industry. Since we anticipated spending you know, time in the tent, we decided it was really important to have one big door on each sidewall. Each door has a bug screen that has a continuous zipper and can be rolled up when you want to open it. And the storm doors, when the weather's bad, can be zipped shut. The sidewall storm doors have a boomerang zipper on top and a horizontal zipper on the bottom. The head wall has two vertical zippers and a toggle at the bottom. So this allows you, if the weather's bad and you want to preserve heat and obviously stay dry, you can button it up real tight. Or when the weather's nice, you open the storm doors and you have big views and lots of fresh air moving through the tent. As we thought through what it would be like to be riding out a rainstorm in the tent, we figured we'd want to maintain airflow even in you know bad weather. So we added vents above each door. And the vents are screened, but they can be closed with a Velcro flap if you want to preserve the heat in the tent. When they're open, there's a fiberglass batten system that you can actuate from the interior to spring out a rain fly so your vent stays sheltered even when it's raining really hard and you can keep that airflow moving through. When we were thinking through how the tent would interact with the truck bed camper section of the camper, it was really important to us to maintain continuity between those spaces. So we made the floor system modular and there's two small modular panels and one large modular panel. And you've basically got four arrangements. You can have a continuous floor where all the modular floor panels are in place. You can nest the two small modular floor panels to create a nightstand. You can take both of those small modular floor panels and remove them and have like a split level camper where you've got full pass through, or you can remove all the modular floor panels and have full standing height in your truck bed. We call that living room mode, which is great for getting kids out of ski gear, changing out of wetsuits, anything you might need to do where you have full standing height and privacy. So it's basically a little ski lodge on the back of your truck, wherever you go. So to close the tent, you just reach up and grab the fabric at the corners. Again, it's super durable, so it, it's just fine to pull on the fabric. As it comes down, the air is able to escape through the perforations in the small modular floor panels, so it doesn't want to billow out. And that makes it easy to tuck and organize the fabric at the tailgate. So when the clamshell is closed, you just throw the latch and you're good to go.